My name is Nathan Carter, Bishop Carney running back and linebacker. Hey coach, I'm from upstate New York. A lot of athletes don't, down here don't really get a lot of exposure, but we really have a lot of top athletes that can compete to the highest level. I'm one of the top athletes that can compete to the highest level, and I will play to the highest level of football I can possibly play. Hey coach, my name is Quinn Goss. I'm from Bishop Kearney High School as well, in Rochester, New York. Nate was talking about there's not a lot of athletes in this area that, that get exposure. Look, I played in the NFL for two years, Philadelphia Eagles, the New England Patriots, and the Denver Broncos. Also a little stint in the CFL as well. There's lots of talent in this area, and this kid, he reminds me of me when I was in high school. He's a hard-working man, and he will provide for university. He will grind for you. He deserves a scholarship. He will get the job done. So Nathan Carter, check out his tape. Make sure you see you see this kid, because he will get it done for you. Uh, coming in gym at 5.30 in the morning for me, uh, personally sets me uh, separate from my, from my competition. Something that not a lot of people do. Not a lot of people want to come to the gym early and then go on and go to school because they'll be tired and just not committed enough. You have to have uh, that grind, you have to have that mindset that you want to separate yourself from everybody else. Well, starting off with my academics, I really take my academics seriously. In uh, Bishop Carney High School in Rochester, New York, I'm a National Honor Society student. 3.7 GPA, and um, my hard work in the classroom is something that you know most people don't have, especially across the country. I want to major in sports management um, in college. Uh, sometime I want, after football is over, I want to be a coach or even an agent, and I also want to get into broadcasting and be a TV broadcaster. Responsibility I put on myself is my responsibility to bring that leadership, to focus up on the guys, to make sure that they're focused on the field and off the field, no matter what, whatever uh, aspect of their lives. Athletically, you know, it's just a mindset. You know, it's a mindset that I have that you know, every time I step on the field, every time I'm in practice, every time I'm in the weight room, uh, there's always somebody out there working harder than me. Or there's always somebody, somebody out there that's better than me and it just pushes me to do more and more every day. It pushes me to grind hard and work harder every single day. But right when I step on campus, whether I'm a freshman, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna be competing for a spot. I'm my most favorite player is Walter Payton. You hear a lot of stories about how hard he worked, all the things that he did and the, you know, the way that he runs so pure and the running style that he had. It's just something I want to have in my game and it's someone that I look up to. And I'm going to be aiming for that starting spot. You know, I'm not, I never get intimidated by anyone or anything. And, you know, if you want a guy who's gonna play any position you want to play, if you want a guy who's gonna go out and practice and work hard every single game, no matter where they are, no matter what anybody says, I'm your guy. If you're a football team, uh, I'm gonna be a leader. You know, right when I step on campus, even as a freshman, I'm gonna come and work, I'm gonna come and win games, I'm gonna come and win a championship, and that's my goal. As a college athlete, that's my goal. When I, right when I step on campus and right when I step on the field, that's my mindset. So all the other stuff doesn't really matter to me, and it's just irrelevant.